George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a scrape, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. The jungle is full of dangerous surprises. Hey, wake up! Rhinos! Especially if you awaken a grumpy ape too early. Ape! We've got to stop the stampede now, so... My plant fuel formula will revolutionize space travel. If your baloney science works, I'd better be up there to explain everything to the clouds. And I'll bring them a cream pie. Clouds, don't talk or eat. Mm, but that pie looks delicious. A potentially explosive experiment plus our dads? This is gonna be a good time. I'm glad we got here early. <laughs> Almost ruin our dad's rocket launch. What I miss? <laughs> You're snoring. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Sunshine. Hot coconut milk. Suit yourself. <sighs> Nothing feels better than a morning workout. Yeah! Except a new lip gloss. Oh, and one of those hats that turn up ever so slightly to give you a mysterious look. Why are you so grumpy this morning? Snore. Hey, snore. Snore. So, if he does it again, just wake him up and tell him. <gasps> For the love of all things, George, don't make me do that! No! Are you afraid of hurting his feelings? <laughs> you guys are best friends. You wouldn't mind. I'll show you. Magnolia? Yes? When you eat bananas, it makes a squishy sound that makes my skin crawl, so can you stop? Thanks. See? It's called tact. Hey ho, friends! Oh, Ape! We were just coming to get you. I want to show you something. You wanted to show me a bunch of sleeping warthogs? Hmm, fascinating. Boy, they sure snort. Yes, they snort a lot. Yes, they do snort a lot. Yes, they do. 
Some animals wouldn't be able to sleep around all this snorting. Well, the snorting would keep them awake. I think you hear what I'm saying. Yes. You're standing quite close to me. Well, thank you for the stimulating conversation. Mission accomplished. <laughs> George can't take it anymore! Uh, no, George's finger! He has to be strong! Hey, no snoring! George is confused. I am afraid what we have here is a case of the extremely rare nasal dwelling sinus fly. In the jungle, we call it the Bugetsky. Using this formula, I will enlarge the nose. That way, we can walk right in and remove the intruder. How <laughs> strange. Maybe it's past its expiration date. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, this is awkward. Great. I guess Ape is just going to keep on snoring forever. <gasps> George has an idea. Uh, Here, buggy, buggy, buggy. Mm -hmm. George has a nice big nose for you to climb into. Uh, did I mention it's the king of the jungle's nose? <laughs> Tickles. <laughs> But now George will snore too and not be bothered by it. Couldn't take one more night of your snoring, so we banished you forever from the jungle. Love your best friends. Oops. I don't get it. Snoring? This is about a little snoring? Actually, big snoring. Ape snores like a hippo with two pigs up its nostrils, while huge horses chew on marbles right in your ear. Really? While riding a motorboat past a log sawing contest. Really? But Ape has a bug up his nose that makes him do it. Really? And also, you hit when someone tries to wake you. Now that's just silly. George misses sleeping in his comfy bed. We've got to get these bugs out. Jeez, who 
can sleep around here with all this wreck. Hey, Elmer, you over there? Yeah, Marty. Can you sleep? What, are you crazy? Let's get out of here. I hear you. <sighs> And so, finally, Quiet returned to the jungle. And everybody and every monkey slept like a log. Jungle is a full-time job. We're late for band practice. The responsibilities are many. And the challenges are great. It's a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. Hello, George. What's next? Where's George next? Where? Where, huh? Uh, where? If you're gonna keep up this crazy schedule, well then, what you need is some rest. Oh, but George isn't even sleepy. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? Be milking? Yogurt class. Uh, Swedish clock dancing? Yump and yimini, yump and yimini, yump. No. No yumping, no yimini. You need to rest. You need a vacation. Vacation? Yeah, somewhere where your life's not run by the sundial. My family has a tree share in the South Jungle. They have the softest beds in the whole world. <laughs> but who's gonna watch the jungle while George is on vacation? Oh, see, someone has to sweep that down and check and see if any worms were hurt and then glue a new leaf back on the tree. And if a tiger wants to fight, you have to make him count to ten. And, oh, yes, and ten in tiger is... George, we've got it covered. Maybe George could take vacation right here and... Go! If one thing in jungle goes wrong, fix it right away or else... <laughs> two things will go wrong. What are you doing? <laughs> We've got a jungle to run, animals to save. Right. I just thought I'd, you know, wait till I heard an agonizing cry for help or maybe got an email. <laughs> <sighs> right. Let's get started. According to the Law of the Jungle, Section 1, Subsection C. Hello there, little fella. I'm the temporary king of the jungle. Yo! Oh, well, Tookie, it's not as nice as home, but it'll have to do. Temporary king of the jungle must assist any elderly person who needs help crossing the... Aha! Uh -huh. No, no, madam. Let me assist you. There you go. Huh? <gasps> Stop! Ow! Now that's more like home! Except the dishes are done. Knock and knock knock! Are you George? Uh, of the jungle? Log rolling starts in five minutes! Oh. That's just how Ape would tell George to hurry up. Okay, listen up. I need everyone to form a neat line. Serious problems in front. Let's just take them by section. I'll start with this guy. Now, what can I help you with? Oh, dear. An injury. Oh. Oh. What 
do you need? Your comb? Oh, we'll find it. It's around here somewhere. This is a Rocco nut. I can't open it. Hard like rock, see? Do you have a rotary saw? Oh. Hey, I've got this one. One of my daddy's potions will help. <laughs> Oopsie. Let's try a chisel. <clears throat> try this one. Oopsie again. <laughs> Uh, George usually rips them apart with his bare hands. Just trying to help. Maybe you could lick the tasty outside. Mmm. If you can't eat that, have some of my experimental organic totally good for you raw salad. Uh, what's in it? Stuff I found just lying on the ground. <laughs> Were here, he'd tell George not to throw animals. <laughs> Whoops. If only Magnolia were here, she'd probably turn this chair into a decorative hat. Oh, and find a pair of shoes to go with it. <laughs> are you sure this is a good idea? Rocks are better for a house than wood. We're talking ancient technology. Big bad wolf, three little pigs, hello. <laughs> Do you need some water? No, wait! Oh, Dookie's right. That would have been a lot funnier if friends were here to... Pointed laugh at us. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, according to Jungle Myth, if the stone of Throck should ever fall, the volcano of Throck will erupt. Oh, please. All because a spooky looking rock falls over? Okay, show's over, folks. Everybody back to... Ah! Okay, it's real. We have to call George. No way! He's on vacation. We promised him we'd take care of everything. You're right. He's probably having so much fun. Hey, are you there? I it's George. If you get this message, uh, I hope you're... having a nice day! <laughs> Oh! Time for George to go home. <laughs> Except the part which is... Way, way worse. Yeah, there's some flames and beavers and lava and screaming buffaloes. Yeah, George is so happy to come home to panic, friends, and chaos. Here you go. Oh, 
shard smells the mythical volcano of Throck. Uh, okay, who moved the stone of Throck? <laughs> How did he do that? Who cares? Oh, boy. I really miss this place. Well, it's great to have you back, George. And we'll see you later. Huh? Yep. We need a vacation. Vacation? Man, Here I come. Wait! I missed you guys! Wait for me!